Chief Meteorologist Mark Weinberg. Mark, uh, Brandenburg gets a lot of attention because of the lives lost, but this was every bit of a super outbreak. Tornado sliced from Alabama all the way up to New York, killing some 300 people. And Louisville was in the middle of that swath as well. You know, and a lot of people don't know this, but the storm, the same thunderstorm that produced the Brandenburg F5, it weakened that tornado, then occluded and, and lifted. The same storm moves into Louisville. That's the thunderstorm, the same thunderstorm that produced the tornado that went through Louisville. This one touched down near the fairgrounds, moved through Northfield as it generated and, and intensified into that F4. But you get the idea that these storms were producing tornado after tornado after tornado. And it is factual to say that the storm that produced the Brandenburg tornado is the exact same thunderstorm that produced the tornado that moved through Louisville. And you, you can't live in this city or this area and, and walk around Louisville and talk um, about tornadoes and not hear somebody telling you a story of what they saw in 74. Certainly, if they were here, this is video from Louisville's damage uh, from the Strainy Drive in the Glenview Street area. I hear a lot of people talking about damage in Crescent Hill. Also, one of the telling pictures, Churchill Downs. Yeah. The barns at Churchill Downs were flattened. And Cherokee Park, I think to me, is one of the really epic pictures that you would see because basically the entire Cherokee Park, you had just trees laid down everywhere. And a lot of people have that story of when it was dropping down north of the fairgrounds and you hear them talk about it and you can see it expanding as it's going through Louisville. You know, for me, as somebody that covers severe weather and tornadoes, and obviously we're talking about that risk tonight, it is a terrifying thought that you have an F4 tornado in a city of a million and a half people. I mean, the amount of devastation, destruction, and lives that can be lost in a scenario like this is incredible. The damage could be just unbelievable. So as we sit with our eyes on the radar tonight for the possibility of tornadoes, how does that tornado outbreak 50 years ago change the way you forecast today and warn viewers of the potential of this extremely dangerous weather? So what Gilbert captured in that piece is factual. 1974 changed everything. There was a man named Theodore Fujita. Theodore Fujita, you may know the last name Fujita the Fujita scale, F scale, EF or F scale for tornadoes. Theodore Fujita is the one that generated that. And his detailed analysis of the storms was exceptional, especially considering it was 1974. And this created a revolution in meteorology. We recognized after 1974 that we needed better Mark, way. Um, 